Hey G Squad, welcome back to episode of Airs Air Dwarfin. So today's episode, we got this cool item right here. And basically what this is, is a wheat straw bowl that you put food in here, whether it be hot or cold. So for the one that I got right here, it comes in a pack of six of them. And if you see the bottom right here, they probably got some specs and features on here. So they mentioned how the product is microwave safe, dishwasher safe, BPA free, freezer safe, and it is reusable. And if you guys turn to the back, they probably got some information in terms of what is the wheat straw and where it comes from and etc. And what's really cool about the material that they use for the bowl is the fact that they are biodegradable. So for whatever reason, if you guys actually break it, it is compostable. So it takes roughly around three to six months for it to compost if you guys do want compost at home. And for the size that we got right here, it should be 60 ounce. But I'm actually open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. So once you guys take it out, here is basically what it looks like. And we see there's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. And each one of these are different color. But the way how to design each one of these bowls are basically the same thing. So I'm actually going to take out one of them to show you guys what she looks like. Alright. So when you guys take out the top one, this is what the part looks like from the side. If you guys look at the bottom, here is basically what the bottom part looks like. So see the way how to design the bowl looks like the same one that you get when you guys do go to like a noodle shop or ramen shop to eat noodles. So when you feel the overall weight of the product, it definitely feels pretty lightweight. And see in the bottom, they also probably got some specs and features that's on here as well in terms of how to use it. So you definitely have the option to use it in dishwasher, microwave, freezer, and also hot or cold stuff on here as well. And if you guys look at the inside, here's basically what the inside looks like. So they do probably got a little smile face right here. And it says farewell to pollution and hello to nature. But if you see the inside bowl is pretty big, since they mentioned how it can fit up to 60 ounce. And when you guys feel the material that's on here, it is pretty durable. And when you guys kind of squeeze it, it is also pretty durable as well. Definitely feels a lot more durable than like plastic material. And when you guys smell the bowl, there's no like weird smell or anything. I definitely smell like a wheat smell or something, but it's not like a bad smell. And they also mentioned the way how to design the bowl, they are unbreakable. So it's not like porcelain, ceramic, or anything else. So if you guys actually do drop it, it should be fine. One thing that I do want to let you guys know about these bowls or any kind of wheat straw bowls is the fact that if you guys use something with strong color, like hot chili or something, it might stain the bowl. So that's definitely something to kind of consider when you guys do eat anything that spices you or has like strong color on it. So if you guys don't mind or don't care that it might stain your bowl, then that's totally fine. So for me, I could totally see myself using this probably for like noodles or even for salad or even for eating like oatmeal or something, which is pretty cool. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now I'm actually going to do a quick test to show you guys whether or not the product is like heat resistant and etc. But maybe like pouring some hot water on here or something and it will come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here we do have the bowl that's 60 ounces or so. So before I add the hot water in, let me show you the temperature right now. All right, so that's the current temperature, which is around like 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And I do have the hot water that just been boiling, so I should add it on top. All right, so I just add the water inside. You can see all the steam that's coming out. So you guys check the temperature again. That is a new temperature that shows right here. So it's around like 168 degrees Fahrenheit. And when you guys put your hand on the side, it definitely feels pretty hot or pretty warm. I feel like if you guys do leave your hand for too long, it might burn your hand, so you definitely want to be careful. But that is where the bottom part comes in handy, so that way you can put your hand underneath it, and that way it won't burn your hand, because it does stick out a little bit on the bottom, like I mentioned, which is pretty cool. But you see the product definitely does work if you guys do add hot water or hot stuff in here. As long as it doesn't exceed the limit of like 220 degrees Fahrenheit, then you should be fine. But you see the bowl definitely does work. Alright, welcome back guys. So next we'll quick test the part and definitely actually does work and should work quite well. So whether if you guys put like hot stuff or cold stuff in here, it is completely fine. And obviously like I mentioned, if you guys want to use it in the microwave, you definitely can as well. But if you see from the actual product, the product definitely does work if you guys do add hot stuff on here. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to go unboxing and test the product. Now to answer the question of whether or not it should work or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want one of these one of these. Especially if you guys are in the market looking for some high quality wheat straw bowls that has a slimmer design that's on here that's unbreakable and etc. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. <coughs> but then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.